Hey everybody, it's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate your support. So I just had an idea, um, and I'm not sure who this is going to help, but maybe it will help you, okay? So there are a lot of you guys that are under income requirements or income limits that you cannot exceed, okay? For example, if you're someone that is in housing or if you're someone that is um, on Section 8 or, uh, or not Section 8, um, Social Security uh, or whatever it may be, um, if you are someone that um, has a cap of how much income you can receive but because of this world and how expensive and how hard it is to survive off of those fixed income checks um, and you are going to make money outside I want to give you guys a little workaround okay um, and I'm gonna give an example this should make it easier for you so you guys know that I offer um, tax classes to individuals that want to learn how to do their own taxes or individuals who want to start their own tax business okay someone came to me and said I would love to start my own tax business um, but I am in a fixed income situation and I can't earn any additional money and I said to her no problem okay here is what you have to do get the money loaned to you where you have to make payments that way it is not considered income got it i'll say it again have the money loaned to you so that you do not have to count that money as income i'll give you an example look how many people um who were on housing and they got the ppp loan they didn't lose their housing now they might have lost their freedom because they lied but they did not lose their housing and a lot of people still have not gotten you know not saying that you will or you won't but I'm just saying um, most people still have those benefits that they received and the reason why is because the money was loaned to them not granted gifted or given as earned income okay so when it is loaned to you there is an expectation that that money is going to be paid back. So the government doesn't look at it as income. So going back to my example, the individual who wanted to start her own tax business, you know, to help get on her feet uh, while she's using the system as her emergency, you know, bridge, which you're supposed to use it for. And she did not want to meet her income limit. So what she did was, instead of receiving payments from the customers she got a loan from the bank that actually issues the uh, that actually uh, does the transactions for um, the customers that actually withhold the money and send you the tax prepare your money the bank will actually give you an advance this advance is a loan so this person got an advance for how much she thought she would have made for the tax season that way, any money that she earned went to pay the loan back. So the money she got from the bank was just a loan, not income. Okay? So I hope I taught y'all something. <laughs> hope you learned something new. Um, but that is something that I tell people all the time, that if you're in a situation like that and you can't have income, then you need to have the money loaned to you with the expectation that you're going to pay it back because that makes it a loan, okay? It doesn't make it a gift. It doesn't make it income, all right? So please like, subscribe, share my videos. And if you have a question, you want to do a consultation, shimmybesaves.com. Also, if you're interested in starting your own tax business, I will be getting that set up um, starting this September or October, whichever one. But you can go to my website, shemeeksaves.com, and you can already sign up so you'll be ready. Okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.